Hello and welcome to Shadow of Judgment. For any of you who are new to my channel or just new to this segment, Shadow Judgment is where I look at the nooks, the crannies, the corners, the full circle to see what is in the subconscious, the background, the shadows, things you might not know about, things that might be going on that nobody's aware about, things that might you or somebody else be up to. Ooh. Let's see who this reading is for. Fire! You're up next, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Please check your chart if this resonates with you a good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game. Might not come true if you don't believe in it. Or it might. Boop on your nose. Right? You want a personal reading? My email, Instagram, and Facebook page are all in the description box below. I prefer my email, but, you know, no biggie. Right? First reading's free of charge. Anything else afterwards comes with the price, and I do appreciate tips and donations. Thank you very kindly. Fire signs. Aries, you have the Six of Pentacles. Oh, Jesus Christ. Six of Cups. At some point, I will get this right, but I keep always mixing up my shit. I'm a genius. I'm smart. I respect me. <laughs> Sorry, I was listening to Diggy Jai Khaled earlier. Ooh, we got a Leah possibly here. You might be holding your strength back for some reason, keeping that beast at bay, being like, no, man, it's not time. Don't make me hold my bro back, yo. <laughs> oh, something is not coming to an end, Aries. Possibly with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And this fire sign over here could also be you as well. Might be talking some nonsense. Might just be trying to instigate something, right? Because uh, since things won't die, no one's able to take a leap of faith. There could be some indecision going on right here. And you might just be pissed at a person who is like playing some games. But lo and behold, that person might just get their shit. And since that's an air sign, that might be the air sign who's been playing head games with you. Um... You might want to offer your cup to them, though. And they have no idea what the hell they're doing at all. Now, they are looking for balance. Definitely could be Libra, right? And you're just trying to look over everything to figure out what the fuck is going on. I feel like. Hmm. Aries? Let us see. You hmm. All right, Aries, you might definitely be dealing with somebody from your past, and it might be an air sign who's got an attitude problem, but they got an attitude problem because, like, they don't know how to choose shit. You know, they're doing the whole, like, you know, I'm really indecisive, and, like, I don't know, maybe you should decide. It all sounds good. I don't know what to pick. Or maybe I should pick. I don't... Like, one of those things, right? And it's like, they want balance. And I think the balance is you should help them out, either financially or some other thing. Or you should be ignored so they can get something because you got something in your pocket that they consider, like, a um, trump card. Things aren't ending properly, and you're not going anywhere near this shit. I mean, you want to offer your love. There might be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but something isn't over enough for someone to start a clean slate so they can offer their cup. But they still want to try to offer their cup to this person. Um, but I feel like they have such a nasty attitude that it's like, ah. Mind you, cross watchers, switch where you need to, of course. And I'm just shuffling and cards came out. Um, there might have been betrayal involved here, right? And that's probably why you don't want to take a leap of faith and but, because you still got love, that's probably why everything feels like you can't let it die. But because things, they get knocked over, none of this looks happy anymore. Um, especially when it, in regards to a relationship. Now, you might be trying to work on some things with this individual right here. My, this, and you might even have, like, a, a freaking referee. This dude might be playing, like, you know, like, look, we're not going to say harsh words. We're not going to hit below the belt. We're not going to call each other a stank-ass bitch like we did the last time. We are going to have manners, right? But then, like, the air sign's like, ah, fuck that, because, you know, they want to feel bad. That's all. Uh, so that's probably a lot you're not trying to go in their direction. But you still love them. You still offer your cup just timidly. 
at the very like beginning right but it's like you're holding out your strength on wanting to call this motherfucker horrible names because you know that they just start things to get you going and you just decide to walk away from them and it seems like the last time they did that they didn't realize that they were going to lose the actual war i mean they sure they got their jabs and win a few battles but now it's like you're looking over all this stuff it's like hmm what are you what uh, what uh, who that who that <laughs> we'll go with that who that uh air sign likes to rush in argue so you yeah you're definitely possibly dealing with an air sign who just wants to come in and just corroborate everything right um cause a separation you know, leave someone feeling like broke, uneasy, you know, kind of like in this scenario where they think they got a trump card, so they deserve more. Might be a water sign, like, holding her emotions in, like, really observing everything. That could also be you just being like, this motherfucker, he won't leave. He won't leave. And I'm really tempted to boil his kid's stuff. Like, oh my god, I will boil him alive if I have to. You're kind of waiting to see how things are going to come out, too, because you already kind of know uh, that there will be fighting when it comes to, like, establishing the home, and you got to do your best not to offer a damn thing into this shit, because this, I, I feel like this air sign wants mo something of value. It doesn't have to be money. I, like, I know people think earth signs are all about, like, the monetary. We can be, but there's more to it than that. Money brings you the shit that you can enjoy. It's a, it's it like, like, what is the, the get on and say sometimes? Money is a frequency, you know, an energy, a vibration. Um, that's all it is. Like, earth signs kind of understand that, you know, like, yeah, we can get money, but we're using the money to get stuff to make us feel comfortable and cool and almost at peace with ourselves. And I think that's what this person's going for. And you are trying not to offer anything into this. Because you know that, that this just doesn't feel right. But that was yours, Aries. We're moving on to Leah. Leo! Come here now. It is time for you to shine, my babes. Mwah, I love you. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with you, Leo, for your shadow this week. Oh, okay. Love. Ooh. And, hmm. A new heartfelt beginning or boredom, I feel like. Um, something of, but you're kind of cursing out the cup. <laughs> you're kind of cursing out that cup. What the hell, Leo? What are you guys doing? This doesn't have to be you. This could be your cross watcher. Also could be a Sag or an Aries, but I feel like that's kind of you. <laughs> you're just cursing. Rule the day you came here with your cup, you know? Uh, this cup requires work with you guys, right? And this right here, it, wow, two tens and neither of them are good. You don't feel like it's a home. You don't feel like it brings you emotional fulfillment, possibly do with the family. You're kind of sick of shit. You're going to do it in the background trying to walk away and you kind of want to start a new future right here. You're leaving the past behind, whatever this relationship is with the past. Now, you could work on a new beginning, but it's kind of like you or whatever, or whoever this is, is, like wasting your time trying to be a murderer or whatever. All of this came with a victory, the victory though. So maybe you got out of this scenario? Like you didn't want to, okay, you didn't want to be part of this new beginning or to, I feel like maybe to start something new in this scenario because you feel victorious walking away from it. Like, you've already kind of bitched it out. Be like, I ain't doing that shit. No, I'm out. You know? I am done. Um, you Like, you have love. You really do. But you just feel like there's too much shit that was involved there. Ew, you might have a queen of pentacles who's a little bit demanding of you. and But here is you. Or it could be a child somewhere. Huh. Like, you're still managing to be happy, but there's like an overbearing mother or an unfaithful spouse somewhere in a mix. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo? You guys have been getting the earth 
We're like a queen of pentacles in yours for quite a while now, and that's like, you know, it trips me out because like my husband's a Leo, and it's just like if he's got a problem, he better say something, but he doesn't. So, hmm, might be some bad karma or bad judgment calls when it comes to like legal issues involved as well. But someone's expecting a lot with this Queen of Pentacles. Uh, let's see. What's up with the, her anyway? Um, she wants to come back and apologize for something, like sneaky shit. Yeah, she wants to come back to you to apologize for whatever it is, and you are, as always, being nice and kind and gentle, right? It's like they want to apologize for walking away despite the fact that they loved you. So why don't she, though? What's up with this? Why don't she? You know, she's tired of feeling left out in the cold. She wants to come back in, maybe. And she feel like, and she feels like she betrayed herself. So that's kind of interesting. So why don't she? She's wasting time already. Wasting valuable time. At some point, you're, like, you're probably gonna end up, like, just being fuck this. Like, you'll regret leaving it, but it's, because you'll still have love, but at the same time, it's kind of like, you gotta move on to be happy. You can't be sulking all the time. You know? But, just so you know, they're still spying on you. I just don't know if it's for good reasons, man. So be very, very careful, Leo. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this is totally not me and my husband. I'm cool. But I do, but, ooh. I know a person who fits this, actually. Anyway, that was your shadow, Leo. You know, I just feel like, you know, you only pass that Ace of Cups up because you're tired of being forced to wait on something that, that isn't bringing you any sort of happiness whatsoever. It's not like the person's trying. Just because you regret something does not mean that, like, you can just... You know, if you regret it enough to want to come back, you might as well come back. Just don't hold back on it, because that's not fair to either one of you. But we're on the Sagittarius. Sag, it is your turn. What card did we drop for you guys? I totally forgot. God damn it. I think it was strength. I'm going to, like, you guys did strength a lot. Like, you guys got in strength since I first started this shit, actually. But Sag, it's your turn for your shadow this week. Let's see what's la 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 for you. Okay. Nothing's working out. <laughs> might have been a third party situation with work. Might be shitty co-workers. Might just be you hate your fucking job. That's all. And there is a Queen of Cups. Gem I'm going to say Gemini. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Someone is a fucking crazy. This person is looking at their cup with an obsession. They're looking at it like, I will get that person for hurting my feelings. How dare they drink my double shot espresso malate that I paid a lot of money for. It was $3. It was only $1.50 at the dollar store, Jen. I don't care. I can buy it for more expensively at other stores. And they drink, like, you know, it's, it's, it's like they get really dramatic with it. But it, it's dramatic enough to where you take it serious that you might think that they'll, like, boil your kid's pets. Like, they'll break into your house and probably try to do something to just, to hurt you just to let you know that they were there. And I don't even think that they give a fuck enough about you to, like, to, like do this. But they would just do it just because they want to feel spiteful and feel good about themselves for being spiteful that day, right? You might have a lot of indecisions when it comes to this person right now you do want to make your money and this person is just it, 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 like mm, if you're dealing with a scorpio don't go near that person because there's something wrong with them i feel like they, there's something wrong with them and they make you feel like there's something wrong with you and i don't like it not one bit like fuck this she's like that's all i gotta say like ugh. i don't like them not at all Hanged man. Chariot reverse. Could also be cancer. 
five of uh, cups. Everybody's been getting that too, along with the king of pentacles. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Okay, so first off, don't go near this person. Whoever this water sign is, don't go near them because there's something wrong with them. I don't like them. Like, it's like they're plotting. They're plotting just because they have nothing better to do with their lives. They're just like, you know what? I, I like, I just, I, I just need to go fuck somebody up. So I think I'm going to go fuck with Sagittarius because that would seem like the perfect person to get my rocks off. It's just, they're creepy to me. You know? Like... Things didn't work out, but look at you being all settled. You might be even dealing with a Capricorn Taurus Virgo, but I feel like that's more you with your established money. You're at a crossroads, and you're getting out of the environment where there's a lot of conflict, right? You know, the one thing I've learned, and it's crazy because looking back, I was, like, really in that energy of just, like, you know, like, where is my time where is this where is that i have been waiting i've been doing this how long do i have to you know i was getting impatient at the same time i'm kind of happy that like uh i had that time out from the universe in order to <laughs> chill me out because i really needed it and i feel like some of you need to chill out you're going through a chill out period too not like you don't need it not like you, well not like you n don't need it but you know it's like a period of time where um you're in the energy right now with the hanged man where all you have to do is make your fucking bag and keep your nose clean. Yes, I could also be talking about cocaine, but we're not going there today, Malachi. <laughs> like, please, like, oh, he, he wanted me to say that, and it's just like, Jesus Christ, dude. You know I'm not going to get monetized, but it's what. <laughs> someone's very indecisive about why things are not ending the way that they thought and I think it's somebody getting stuck on their emotions of regret and loss but it's like you need to fight that off in order to stop battling yourself in your head about it right because that's what's keeping you stuck right here because it's like this dude it's like it's almost like if this isn't an actual person, it's like you're doing this to yourself. You just have the wrong idea, and then you just go on a wall of match. You go on a mosh pit and just start whacking people. But it's not really a mosh pit as much as it is the checkout line and a Walmart, and you're just bashing people in the head because you want a victory right here. You just want to win one. It's like you're obsessed with like what you think the idea of emotion should be. And it's like you fight so hard and you go so hard in that you don't really focus on the strategy of how to get the victory as much as you do fighting in the name of the victory. Like, I will be victorious! And then it's like, victorious at what? Like, what are you even doing? Being victorious! You know, like, you just kind of go so far and it's just, you're kind of halted right now in order to, like, chill enjoy time and space that's the main thing about it like it's but if this is a person if this queen of cups is a person stay the fuck away from them because they're coming in the wall up your head like you're literally going to be in the middle of walmart checking out some peaches or something and all of a sudden this person is just going to come up and be like hey how are you we should hang out and then it's going to be like it's almost like you want to go to those old feelings because you're comfortable with this person but then it's like they they just well up yeah it's like you want to look for that happily ever after. But secrets come out or something's exposed and it's like an insecurity for you, right? You want fairness in this. You want justice, which mind you, fairness and justice are two completely different things. You know, they really are. They are not mutually um, inclusive of each other. They can be, but one is not the other. I just want to make that clear for anybody who... Um, it's curious. Okay, you're looking for justice to the point where you're stuck in your own head about it or what you think should be right about it or any of that shit, right? Oh, okay, I just fall on the floor. Meanwhile, you're starting a new cycle. And the best thing you should do is to keep your head on your shoulders and keep perceiving and speaking and taking and asserting your authority of truth which you know is your truth just do whatever it is 
you got to do to get some words out. You could also be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, and Aquarius. You might be starting a new cycle with them. You might also feel like you didn't work something out with an earth sign, and that's what's got you, like, in your feels, too. Yeah, you just need to walk away from whatever it is you are feeling. It doesn't matter how much... Don't... Who cares how much you love it? You know, love's got nothing to do with anything, right? Like, love is awesome. It really is, but it doesn't pay bills. And, sure, it's great for companionship, but, is it, but will the companionship be good for the adventure you're going on to? That's something to think about. Just because you love something doesn't mean it's always good for you. You know, Jeffrey Dahmer loved murdering people. That wasn't really a good thing. So take that into consideration, if you will. Also, don't be another Jeffrey Dahmer, because, you know, murder is very frowned upon in my, in my home country. You know? Anyway. Fire signs! That was your shadow for the week. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Um, you don't have to if you don't want to, but it's really up to you. No pressure. All right. I love y'all's faces. Mwah. I'll see ya. Bye-bye.